Okay, we're rolling. Got a little different test set up here. Got the flame, flame pointing down. You can probably hear the snapping in the background. I've uh, modified the air a little bit. I'm just going to zoom in, give you a look, see. You can see the piece of ceramic that's in the end of the pipe there. And I have the uh, fan for the steel funnel going into, into that. And I just got the uh, area taped up to uh, keep the uh, backsplash from being lost. Hey, okay, we're going down for a look seat. a big rock in there. Oh man, that uh, piece of rock I busted off in there. Hot. I couldn't get the flame to go back inside. I got it cranked pretty good here. It's been on about maybe five minutes. Getting a little bit of oxidation on the uh, ends of the steel. Probably only a level two plane, so it's not as hot as it could be. I have to back up because it's just getting too warm. About four feet back, I'm pretty safe now. Wanna check for hard spots? Uh, level two, nothing inside the pipe. So it could be quite a bit hotter if you had a level three or level four. You can see the fan spinning inside there. It works nice to be able to have that uh, shock cord around the fan assembly. You can, you can adjust it, pull it back, sideways, whatever. I tried uh, Taking this end here, which goes on the air, and uh, it's a 45, and I, I cut it in half, and took a piece of a funnel, put it in and taped it, so that the outflow would be there, but I found out that uh, it just cuts down too much of the, too much of the, uh, too much of the air, too much of the volume. 
And I'm surprised that I got this to start. with uh, the restrictor out on the back. Come around the other side, I'll show you the restrictor. That's the restrictor there that, that goes in this way. This is what's going to be connected to the uh, ice cream bucket that's going to have the HHO device inside. And the hole is connected to this and this is going to draw in the a diluted form of uh, hydroxy. Okay. Take one more peek at the fire. <laughs> 